G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this episode. Now, this video is going to be on a topic that I reckon this question comes up over and over and over and over again. And it is something that people have tried to explain before, um, but it's something that is really fundamental to Microsoft Teams and how uh, you interact and use uh, and collaborate on your files inside of Microsoft Teams. So what we're going to have a look at here and walk through and have a talk about is the relationship with Microsoft Teams and SharePoint. All right, so let's get the foundational things uh, ingrained first, some awareness, some learning, so that you've got an understanding of this concept and what the interaction, what the relationship is, and what the um, the integration points are with Microsoft Teams and SharePoint, okay? So the first thing we're going to talk about is the Files tab. So inside of Microsoft Teams, every single channel has its own Files tab. Now, a lot of confusion um, is around where people are saying, oh, we store our files in Microsoft Teams. Oh, the files are in Teams. We access our files through Teams. And that's all uh, true. But underlying where the files are actually located is in a SharePoint site that is associated and linked to that Microsoft team. So every single Microsoft team has an associated and uh, connected SharePoint site. And the files tab of every single channel, the files that are in there actually reside and get stored in the in that linked SharePoint site. So it's not actually in Microsoft Teams itself. You're just accessing and you're surfacing and it's a window to those files that are living inside of SharePoint. Now, while we're on that topic, every single SharePoint site has a default documents library. Now, a documents library is where all of the documents are stored inside of SharePoint. Now, whenever a new channel is created inside of Microsoft Teams, a new folder is created inside of that SharePoint document library, and it's the default document library of that SharePoint site. So let's stop there, and we're going to jump into a demo and have a look at how that all operates. So we can see here I'm in Microsoft Teams and I'm in this sales and marketing Microsoft team. Now behind the scenes and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the general channel and I'm going to hop into the files tab of this general channel. So we can see here that there's no files in there right now. Okay, but you will also notice that I can open this um, open this up in SharePoint. Now, when I open in SharePoint, it's going to open up that linked SharePoint site that is associated with that team. So it's sitting in the background. So Microsoft, think of Microsoft Teams as the as the as the front end, whereas SharePoint is the content services. So it's it's serving up those documents to your team. Now we can see here we're in a SharePoint team site. Left hand side here, we've got the documents library. Okay, and you can see that this documents library here is uh, combined with some folders. And we've got two um, expandable options here. We've got one that says in channels, and you can see here that these are the folders here that are in uh, that are associated to the channels in Teams. Because we can have files and folders that aren't in a, in a channel itself. And they can live outside of those channels in that same document library because we can see here that we've got, let's say, product marketing. So product marketing is a folder that's not in a channel, all right? It's just living in that document library. Now, if I jump back into sales and marketing here, and I'll just, um, let's, first of all, let's create a new channel and let's see what happens. So I'm going to click the three little dots and I'm going to uh, add a channel. And let's go for uh, end of year reporting, okay? So we'll create a channel called end of year reporting. We'll just leave it as a standard channel and we'll add that to this team. So that's now creating that channel. Now behind the scenes, what that is actually doing is creating a new document library, uh, sorry, a new folder in that document library. So you can see here, new folder, end of year reporting. In channels, we'll now have a folder here called end of year reporting, all right? So if I add some files to this channel now, so if I drag and drop some files, I'll just grab some demo docs, and if we drag and drop some files, 
what you're going to notice is that they're going to upload, first of all. Now, they're going to upload into this interface, which is Microsoft Teams, but remembering they're actually being uploaded and added to this SharePoint site. So we'll jump into the SharePoint side of things for the sales and marketing team. We'll go into end of year reporting, and you can see here, there's the documents that I've just uploaded through the Microsoft Teams interface. Similarly, if I upload documents here to through the SharePoint interface, and I'm inside this end of year reporting folder, we can see that those have now been added and uploaded. If I go back to the end of year reporting channel, you can see that those files are also there. All right, so the Microsoft Teams interface is the front end to that SharePoint document library. Every single channel that we create in Microsoft Teams creates a folder that's a, that's linked to um, the, the channel itself and the files tab in that channel. We can create new folders inside of here. It's going to create new folders inside of the end of year reporting folder. So it's like a subfolder. So if I go folder, inside end of year from Teams, All right? So I've created it from Teams, it's a new folder, it's inside the end of year reporting. So if I jump back into here, what we'll notice here is that this new folder has now been created, all right? So every single channel gets a new folder, but you can create new folders that are outside of those channels. So we've only got three that are a link to the channels in Teams but I can create a new folder here um, outside of Teams, out of Teams. It's not linked to any channel, okay, but it's still in the same document library. So if I jump back into end of year reporting, it's not in there, it's not in general, and it's not in reports. So that's living outside of the channel structure. All right, even though I've created a new folder, it doesn't associate that or it doesn't create a new channel. So it's when you create a new channel, it creates a new folder, but not when you create a new folder does it create a new channel from the other way, all right? Now, what happens if we rename a folder? So uh, rename a channel, sorry. Well, if I think this is too long or I need to change it, uh, let's rename, so we'll edit this channel we'll go end of year reports instead of reporting. So we'll go end of year reports and we'll save that. Now, previously, this channel was linked to that folder name. Now, what happens in the background here is we've still got this end of year reporting. If I refresh this, what we're gonna notice is that that folder is going to be renamed as well and that reflects the new, um, the new name of the channel. So it's it, it links in that way, okay? Now we can also, now that's just a single document library. So inside of SharePoint, this documents library always comes with a brand new SharePoint site. It's the default one. Now, what if we wanna add new document libraries? Because one of the parts of SharePoint is the fact that, and one of the features is the fact that we can create multiple document libraries. So we can say new, document library, let's call this policies. Now it's in the same site, so we're still in the sales and marketing site. This site is still connected to Microsoft Teams, so the sales and marketing team here, but that new document library isn't associated to or isn't linked to any channel or anything like that. It's just separate, it's in the SharePoint site, but it's separate. Now, we can bring that into a channel if we wanted to. So I'll jump onto the general channel, and if we hit the plus button here, we can add a tab, all right? So we don't have to go out to SharePoint. We can actually add a tab inside of this same team. Now, it's not linked to any channel though. So I can say, let's bring in an additional document library here, all right? So use a SharePoint link, all right? Let's... Um, Let's go use a SharePoint link. We'll type, we'll grab the URL of this library, which is policies. So we'll copy this. And then what we can do here is we can paste that. Actually, we don't even need that. So we can go the name of the site and then click next. And then we can choose the document library to add as this tab. So. I'm gonna turn this off and let's click policies and let's click next and let's go um, our 
policies. And we'll save that like so. Okay, so what that's doing now is now linking or bringing in that document library as a tab inside of Teams, all right? So same thing here is I can drag and drop inside here. It's gonna upload those files, although it looks like I'm in Teams, I'm interacting with the SharePoint document library that's in the background. You can see here, it's a little bit of a different view, right? I don't get the entire functionality like we do with, uh, with the files tab here. All right, but we do have um, that additional library in there. Now, we can also, if I jump back into files, what you might see here is this uh, breadcrumbs view. So I can go back to the top level of documents, uh, so that the high level and to the, what we call commonly known as the root level of the document library. So now I can actually navigate through my document library, go up and down, inside and outside, any additional folders, because we can see here, there's a folder that's outside of Teams. So I can still get to those folders, even though they're not associated to a channel. You also may have noticed the ability here to be able to move between, if I refresh this, like so, and we'll wait for that to reload, which it has done right now, we can navigate additional document libraries directly from this files tab. So we can see here in this new dropdown, I can go straight to my policies. Whereas before I actually added that document library as a tab inside of Teams, inside of this channel, but we can in actual fact navigate and use just this files tab to actually navigate our way through our entire document library or additional document libraries that we have had or we have provisioned or we have created inside the SharePoint site that is uh, sitting in the background and serving up all of our documents, all right? So not only in that files tab are the documents uh, that, are, um, that are part of that channel, we can actually navigate our way through the entire um, uh, SharePoint site sites, document libraries from within the files tab. And that's to that, that's any files tab as well. So if I jump back into the end of year reports, jump into files, okay, remembering the default view here, we're entering in that folder called end of year reports. Okay, so inside of this channel, where we're directed directly to that folder, and you'll also notice that we can't navigate our way through. All right, that is only available in that general channel. So we enter in the general channel and we go to the files tab and what we'll see here is the ability for us to now go through our entire, um, our entire uh, library structures inside the SharePoint site behind Microsoft Teams. Okay, so there's a high level overview of the relationship between uh, your Microsoft team, its channels, and also whether the files are stored uh, that are part of that, uh, that Microsoft team. And quite often, people think that they're actually storing their files inside of Microsoft Teams, where in actual fact, the linked uh, and integrated SharePoint site, and it's a full-blown Microsoft uh, te SharePoint team site that sits in the background, is serving up the documents to the Microsoft team. So the team acts as the front end, and you're just accessing and surfacing those documents from the back end of the SharePoint experience. So uh, I hope that brings you some value, and I hope that uh, explains that, re that files relationship between Microsoft Teams uh, your channels, and also SharePoint in the background. Um, thanks for watching. I uh, hope that brings you some value, and I'll see you next time.